This demonstration is going to be the copper plate rainbow torch finish. Now important to remember that the rainbow torch only works strictly in conjunction with the copper plate. By itself the rainbow torch doesn't do anything. It needs the copper plate base in order to work. So we'll show you how it works here. Here's the clean steel and I'll show you the first time I'm going to dip. The first step is to put the copper plate on the steel. We'll dip half the, half the steel in here and get your, your copper plate finished there. Now, the rule of thumb is to water after every application. So the next step now is to rinse it with water. Bucket of water here. Rinse it with water. If you don't rinse it with water there, the rainbow torch becomes really overwhelming. It reacts really fast and it's very difficult to control. So we rinse it with water. Then we grab our rainbow torch. Now, wherever I spray this, you're going to get like you hit it with a hot torch. You're going to get different colors, reds, blues, and grays. Now, depending on how you spray it, if you kind of, if you really get on top of the metal and start spraying, it's really going to go hard and it's going to go back almost to steel on you right away. If you kind of hold it back and let it work slower, you can control it better. And you want to keep your water real close and handy so you can stop the reaction um, so it doesn't get out of hand on you. Anyway. Now, after you do that rinse, then you want to use your neutralizer, the rust to rest. You spray that on. Let that work again for 15, 20 seconds. Rinse it with water. And then immediately, you want to get that moisture off with compressed air. You don't want to wipe it off with a towel. it's good and dry, you know you probably want to take a blow dryer or a heat gun to it, make sure it's dry, then you would go ahead and seal it. Now, important to remember to note here is that whenever you start these projects, make sure you have everything ready to go. You don't want to be scurrying around looking for your air hose or your, your neutralizer or something after you get started. Have everything ready because all the steps happen one after another. There's no time in between. So that's important to note. Let's do it one more time. This time we'll spray, and I'll do it on this little horse decoration. First step is the copper plate. We'll rinse with water. Now we're going to rainbow torch the hair area there. Rinse it. Then we'll neutralize it with the rust to rest. Rinse again. Then we'll dry it. copper plate rainbow torch finish. Now once we got it good and dry, again we would go ahead and seal it. We have a gloss, we have a matte sealer. The gloss really shines up this finish to get it to really looking nice. And that's how the copper plate rainbow torch finish works.